Hello, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to put fusible webbing on your fabric to be used for letters and numbers in the machine applique process. So let's look at some a letter here and a few numbers, okay? Now, there's a number of ways you can access letters like this. You might see some in a magazine that you like. You can cut those out and put them in your photocopier printer at home and take a picture of them in there and enlarge it at the same time to the size you want. Or if in your computer you have a word processor in which you can select different fonts. Fonts means the style of the letter. It might be a handwriting script or big block letters. So select whatever font you want and usually right next to the font button is the enlargement button. So enlarge it to the size you want and then print it out. If you still can't get it as large as you want, some of your printers at home have an enlargement feature and you can make them really, really big. Okay, so once you've got your letters all printed out, go ahead and cut them out. I've already cut out the number one. All right, so take that number one and get your fusible webbing. All right, so here's my number one. I cut it out. Now, you're going to turn it over and place it on the side of your fusible webbing that your package says to draw it on. For instance, mine has these little blue grid lines. That's the side I would draw on. So now it's kind of hard to trace around this paper. So let me show you a really little trick I have for doing that. Take a piece of scotch tape and tape it right across like that. Now it's going to be really easy to either cut around it now. Now I don't see that good, so I traced around it like I did here. Okay? Once you've got it traced, then go ahead and cut it out. But make sure you leave at least a quarter of an inch around the number. Don't cut on the lines just yet. Okay, now take that piece and get your fabric you want to put it on. Now this is the front and now I got it back side is up. Pull off the paper that's on the back so that you have that sticky tacky side right there. Okay and then go ahead and place it on the back of your fabric. Then finger press it down real good all over. Okay then take your scissors and now you can cut on your drawn line. So cut it out. And this is what you have. Okay, so there you go. But remember when you first did this, it was in reverse. That's so that the glue gets on the correct side. Okay, now take your fabric you want to put it on. Take off your last piece of paper on there and Put it down, finger press it down, then follow the instructions on your package of fusible webbing. Mine says to put a damp cloth over it, set my iron to cotton with steam, hold the iron down for 15 seconds, and then it's permanently fused on. Now as far as your applique stitches go, okay, let me show you a sample. All right, here I've printed out the name Sue and the numbers one, two, three. Now, on this, I used a small satin stitch on the name. And then I used a different applique stitch on the numbers. So you can see, you can get really creative. You can use different pieces of fabric, use up your scraps on each one, make it look very whimsical. You can put names on your tote bags, pillows, whatever you're making, okay? So it's a lot of fun and an easy process to do. Well, I hope that this was helpful to you. Now to keep informed on all my future videos, click on one of my subscribe buttons. There's one down there in the lower right hand corner. It's red, says subscribe. Towards the end of the video, you might see my picture floating around up there in the left hand corner. 
Click on either one of those. YouTube will prompt you for your email address. Enter that information and the next time I have a new video, YouTube sends you a brief email with a big button in the center. Click on it and it takes you directly to my latest video. I'm Cheryl and I'm really glad you came to my sewing room. Now see you next time and happy sewing.